Hello and congratulations on the purchase of your new Sunbeam Barista Plus espresso machine. My name is Ben. I'm a barista and multi-award winning coffee roaster and I personally believe life is just too short to be drinking bad coffee. This all-in-one coffee machine has everything you need to start making great tasting coffee, including an integrated tap-and-go grinder, meaning you'll be getting the maximum flavour and aroma in your cup. Another benefit to the Barista Plus is the built-in timer, providing real-time feedback on your accuracy and consistency. Okay, now that you have a great machine, it's important to make sure you have a good bag of coffee beans. When it comes to getting the perfect extraction, using freshly roasted, good quality beans is the most important step. Coffee beans have the best flavour between 5 to 20 days after roasting. Make sure you look out for beans with a roasted on date in the bag. Personally, I recommend buying smaller bags to reduce storage time. Storage plays a key role in preserving the freshness of the coffee beans. Using an airtight container, keep them in a cool, dry and dark place out of direct sunlight. I find a kitchen cupboard works perfectly. In this video, I'll assist you with using your coffee machine for the first time and guide you through the process of making a great coffee at home. In less than three minutes, you'll be sipping on cafe-style coffee in the comfort of your own home. Let's begin. After you've unboxed your Barista Plus, before doing anything else, you'll need to rinse the group handle, filter baskets, tamper, water tank, bean hopper and milk jug in a bit of warm water with some mild detergent, making sure that they're thoroughly dried before using them. Remember to check that the red plug under the water tank has been removed. Once removed, fill the water tank with cold water to the max level. Use filtered water for the best results. Now it's time to add freshly roasted coffee beans to the bean hopper. Remember, coffee beans have the best flavour between 5 to 20 days after roasting. As a starting point for espresso extraction, try the grind setting 20. It's a safe starting point for any type of coffee you might be using. The very fresh beans require a coarser grind that will tend to pour slower. As you work your way through the bag of coffee, you may notice that you're needing to adjust the grind setting a little bit finer. This is completely normal and you shouldn't worry about making these adjustments. Okay, it's now time to turn on your coffee machine. When the word grind is displayed in your timer, your grinder is ready. The on-off light will pulse for one minute during heat up. When the light stops pulsing, the machine is ready for your coffee extraction. Barista Plus comes with a 58ml commercial size group head and handle, along with a one cup and two cup filter basket, allowing you to extract the maximum flavour and crema from the coffee beans. A 58ml group head is industry standard and what I use in my cafes every day. Simply put, the larger size allows you to add more coffee for a richer flavour every time, making the group head the key to cafe strength coffee at home. It's important to preheat the group head, group handle and filter baskets before you make your coffee. To do this, insert either the one or two cup filter basket into the group handle, then insert the group handle into the group head. Okay, let's press the one cup button. Doing this will help you get everything warmed up. After that, wipe the filter basket dry with a clean cloth. It's now time to add coffee to your filter basket. As I mentioned earlier, Barista Plus comes with a built-in grind and shot timer. Timers are actually what we use in our cafes to help baristas achieve a consistently great tasting coffee. You may need to vary your grind setting when using different coffee beans, depending on bean freshness. As coffee beans age, they release gas and this affects the pour time. 
Once the coffee is fully degassed, it provides less resistance, making it easier for the water to pass through it. This is why you may need to adjust your grinder to a finer setting. Smaller number settings make the coffee grinds finer and slow down your extraction. Larger number settings make the coffee grinds coarser and speed up your extraction. Simply put, the higher the number, the faster the shot. The lower the number, the slower the shot. When grinding, use the grind timer as a guide to measure the amount of ground coffee. For grind settings 16 to 20, if you're using a one cup filter basket, aim for 13 to 17 seconds. If you're using a two cup filter basket, aim for 19 to 23 seconds. Once you've dosed the right amount of coffee, take note of the grind time and try to aim for the same time when you dose your next coffee. The timer provides a reference to help you achieve consistently delicious coffee. Tamp with a medium pressure, somewhere between 10 to 15 kilos is ideal, but basically a gentle lean with some of your body weight is great. Next, you should rotate the tamper to level the coffee. The tamper has been designed so that the top of the tamper marries perfectly with the top of the filter basket after tamping, and this ensures an even extraction. Wipe the edges to clear any excess ground coffee. Insert the group handle into the group head. The group handle should be in the center position. If you enjoy your coffee a little on the hotter side, you can preheat your cup with some hot water. Now over the years, a lot of people have asked me why it's important to preheat the glass. The simple answer is espresso is such a small volume and it can lose heat really fast. By using this simple preheat method, you can ensure that your coffee stays hot and at its optimal drinking temperature for much longer. To do this, position the steam wand in the cup and turn the dial to hot water, returning the dial to the vertical position once the cup is half full. You can empty the hot water from the cup after around 20 to 30 seconds. Now you're ready to position your cup on the drip tray directly under the group handle. Press either the one or two cup button, depending on which filter basket you've decided to use. The shot volume has been automatically programmed to deliver the perfect amount of water, meaning it will automatically stop when the right amount of coffee has been poured. The shot timer gives you feedback to create consistently delicious coffee. Extraction time or pour time is a good indicator of the quality of your espresso. A well extracted coffee should take around 20 to 30 seconds with a steady flow rate. The colour should be a deep caramel with a golden crema that tastes rich, sweet and vibrant. Remember to pay attention to the built-in shot timer. This will give you feedback on whether you're in the optimal zone or whether you need to make a grind adjustment. If your extraction time is too fast, the coffee will be under extracted and the colour will be a pale brown with a light brown crema. Under extracted coffee can taste sour, acidic and watery. You can adjust this by trying a finer grind setting, adding more grinds to your filter basket or tamping a little more firmly. If your extraction takes too long and pours over 35 seconds, the coffee will be over extracted and the colour will be a very dark brown with a dark brown crema. Over extracted coffee can taste bitter and dry. You can adjust this by making the grind coarser, using less grinds or tamping a little bit softer. Getting the milk temperature just right can be a real make or break moment when it comes to making your coffee. And the window for error is very small. For that reason, we've included a milk thermometer with Barista Plus to help take the guesswork out of achieving the perfect milk temperature. Simply insert the thermometer into the milk jug and fill the jug with cold milk just below the bottom of the spout. Turn the dial to steam to preheat the thermoblock. At this point, the steam light will flash and let you know that the machine is warming up. You should keep the steam wand pointed down into the tray whilst it's heating as some water may come out. 
When the steam light is on, the steam is ready to use. For the best milk texturing results, ensure the steam has first warmed up. You'll hear the pump start and the steam pressure gradually increase. When the steam is at its peak, turn off the steam and insert the steam wand into the milk jug just below the surface of the milk. For the best results, position the steam wand arm at 12 o'clock and the tip at 3 o'clock. Now when you're ready, turn the dial back to the steam position and start texturing your milk. If you're using the right texturing technique, you will hear a smooth hissing noise and the milk should spin in a whirlpool action. As the milk level rises, lower the jug to keep the tip just below the surface. The milk is ready when the needle on the thermometer reaches the red zone. Once you're in the red zone, simply return the dial back to the vertical position and remove the milk jug from the steam wand. Remember to wipe the steam wand and tip with a damp cloth and always purge the steam wand immediately after texturing. You can do this by turning the dial to steam for one to two seconds and then returning it back to the vertical position. During the purge, you'll notice some milky water exiting the steam wand. Purging helps ensure the steam wand doesn't get blocked up and is ready for your next coffee. Now that you've purged the steam wand, pick up the jug and swirl it to blend the milk to create a silky texture. Cafe quality milk should look like glossy white paint and have a smooth and velvety mouthfeel. Tap the jug to release any larger air bubbles and pour your milk in one steady stream. Now take a moment to give yourself a pat on the back because you've just made your first of many cafe style coffees at home. Now that you've finished steaming the milk, the machine has already started its cooling down cycle by pumping cold water into the thermoblock. It's doing this to get ready for making your next coffee. When cooling to the espresso temperature, the steam light will flash and the water will purge into the drip tray. It's important to keep the drip tray in place during this time. Now it's time to remove the group handle and knock out the used coffee. You can do this by turning the handle anti-clockwise from the group head. And lastly, wash all the parts with warm water. I hope this video was helpful. For more hints and tips on how to master your coffee extraction and milk texturing, don't forget to check out our other videos in the Sunbeam Coffee Hub.